it's hard because you know I've never been a male worship leader. You know, it's like what do you compare it to? I think women, are, you know, we can be soft, very soft, but I don't, I don't see a good or a bad or you know positive or negative. I just think God puts His hand on people and man or woman. It's like if He's put His hand on you. Well, tag, you're it. You know, if you want to take up the challenge, then you're it. It's like Chris by what? I mean, he does the same thing that I do. He takes people into the presence of God, and so, you know, I don't, I don't really think it matters. I think people put a lot more emphasis on it. I couldn't believe actually when Shout to the Lord came out because I've always led. Well, I've, not always, but I've led for years. And when Shout to the Lord came out, there was such a big drama about me being female and I'm like what's your problem <laughs> you know what get over it uh, I go to many conferences where worship conferences where I am the only female many many times so I, I have a little little spot in my heart that wants to change that <laughs> not for woman power or anything I'm not like that at all but um, just because it's like girl if if this is good in you then do it you know don't don't be put off by that a lot of times it comes out of the preaching on a Sunday you know just what God is saying to our church and I think that's why our church picks up songs so well I mean last year they learnt 34 new songs in the year you know they're they're, like, they're animals for new songs because you know we might have Brian might have preached it the week before and then the next week we're singing a song about it you know so it takes that word and just lets it live in there, you know. But other ways is just my quiet time. Or there might be something I've read and it'll stick, you know, and so I just start hearing it. <laughs> the first one's always the hardest one. <laughs> um, I mean, I, I can write songs under pressure, you know. If someone said you got to write three songs by the morning, you know, I could do that. I, I've got journals everywhere, you know, in any, in my car, at home, in my office, there's journals, you know, and I just write constantly things, phrases, things that I like, and, you know, I can often go to there and find something that meant a lot and start there. Oh, yeah, yeah, I, I love this place, it's wonderful. I think there's just so much potential. Um, and God is definitely stirring the pot here, you know, and that really excites me, you know, so I'm sure I'll be back. And just be faithful with what God's given you today, you know, don't go after the big thing or the elusive big thing, whatever that is. Just, just serve your pastor's vision, you know, don't go in with your own agenda. Serve your pastor's vision, whether you like it or not, just serve it with a glad heart, you know. And um, in the end, you know, Jesus, he said that he came to be a servant of all, you know, that he, he wasn't going to elevate himself up to any high place that he was going to serve, you know. And I think, well, if you can have that spirit, if you can maintain that spirit, then God can use you to incredible degrees if you can keep that spirit, you know, just willing to do whatever not for the benefits, but because of your love for Christ. We want to encourage you that God has a plan for your life and a destiny. Hear Him today. And we look forward to seeing you on our next program.